This is Breakfast Central, the third day in the month of March 2022. You can follow us on all socials. We're at New Central TV on Instagram, on Facebook. And if you're in Nigeria and also outside, feel free to check us out on Twitter as well. Let's take a look at what stories are making the front pages this morning. And I think we're starting in West Africa, Nigeria. Most definitely, we're starting in West Africa, Nigeria. And our first stop will be uh, Daily Trust. That's the paper we will be looking at this morning. A lot, a lot is going on. Let's start first with the pictures. You can see a lot of people there. What are they waiting for? Well, you might be wondering or guessing right. But let's tell you that members of the Nigeria Coalition of Women's Civil Society groups, um, these are the pictures you find about them. Uh, they were actually waiting during the protest against the rejection of pro-women bills by lawmakers at the National Assembly Abuja yesterday. So there was, there, there was uh, uh, this... Um, the story, most definitely, that there, there, there was going to be a, a galvanizing of uh, uh, women uh, moving down to the um, National Assembly yesterday. And it definitely took place as a result of the fact that uh, they were not highly represented or there was no acceptance, especially when the rejection came of pro-women bills by the lawmakers. So the ladies trooped out en masse and ensured that they were going to do one thing to protest. And that's what you see in the pictures. But let's go straight to the big headline there. Patrol scarcity to linger as car goes stranded. Big problem mm. for us here in Nigeria. Filling stations sell above 200 naira per litre. Crude oil hits $112 per barrel. Mm. Well, Ukraine invasion worry approves 3.5 billion naira to evacuate 5,000 Nigerians. We'll also see the same amount in dollar. And uh, we talked about that as well. We have that on the headlines later on today. Plus, APC North Central Governors meet Al Makura over consensus. Mm. That's one uh, story you might want to check out. Fuel crisis hit airlines as passengers suffer delays and cancellations. Problem as well. Special parliamentary seats, Women Affairs Minister blasts National Assembly. And I think you know that's what led to the picture that you find there on the front page. Man beats father to death over witchcraft. Man beats father to death over mm -hmm. witchcraft. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Mm. Again, families of detained BDC operators protest in Kano. I'll stop there, but I think um, the Daily Trust is indeed loaded. Go pick yourself a copy. Make sure you read it and uh, digest it and get the story. From Nigeria, let's head on to Zimbabwe. We're looking at news day this morning. Now in Zimbabwe, a lot of people have been talking about the private voluntary organizations amendment bill that's a pvo now if this bill is passed into law it means 18,000 jobs will be lost the main story here talks about ngo bill to got 18,000 jobs that's the major big story right now in zimbabwe everybody's talking about it and the way forward but there's more details on page two of Newsday. Now you can see this picture here. That's the health deputy minister, John Mawingo, as it test drives one of the eight ambulances which is donated by the UNPF. Well, you can see the Zimbabwe representative there. You can also see the Japan ambassador to Zimbabwe all in a handover ceremony in Harare just yesterday. One more story from Newsday this morning is looking at the agricultural sector. Dry spells sparks drought fears that's what it's saying now now the farmers group are coming out to warn the country that look everybody needs to brace up because there might be some food shortages very soon in the country i mean we don't need to to brainstorm about it this is coming we don't need to go to church we don't need to pray about this we need to work work into action and ensure that the food security in zimbabwe is top notch prepare for this that's what he's day saying all right, away from Newsday now, let's go straight to uh, another one. This time, let's go to Daily Nation. Daily Nation has this on the front page there, revealed the fixing of Kalonzo Musioka. Yes, the fixing. Big question there in red. Will he stand his ground or will he capitulate? That's another one. So how did he find himself there? The wiper the leader is in a catch-22 situation that poignantly echoes his tribulations a decade ago during the last presidential transition so read about it uh, like i always say I, I really appreciate what daily nation is doing letting you know who they are taking you into their lives and much more to the left unwanted kq uh, storeway disowned at home <laughs> oh my goodness 
villagers claim the real uh, uh, Cedric uh, Shevonje died in the UK incident and that his spirit, huh? Oluchi, his spirit is the one roaming the village. They say his presence is uh, um, ominous and would bring misfortunes uh, to the community. Now, in case you're wondering what this story is about, it's at the top left. You can see that guy in the picture there. Now, he was a stowaway, of course, uh, in, in, <laughs> in a KQ airline. And when he was caught, you could see he was brought back home. But the villager said, no, our own son is in the UK. This is not this, him. This is a ghost this of some sort. Ghost. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm just going to stop there for this. I, I'm lost for words at this point. <laughs> Daily Nation. Wow. All right, let's wrap up the paid newspaper segment this morning by going back to Nigeria, looking at News Direct this morning. Nigerian News Direct is what it says here. And it's all about the ongoing war. It reports Ukraine-Russia war. Federal government to spend $8.5 million to airlift over 5,000 Nigerians. That's on page two. As it says, first batch of evacuees from Ukraine arrived in Nigeria today. BMO con commends Buari led administration of a prompt response. Mm -hmm. Yep, you can get that from page three. You can see this picture here. It's the governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sonwo Lu, plus other stakeholders. This was at the commissioning of the ultra modern market at Songo Tedo during his working visit to Etiosa local government area. All of this happened in Lagos. Well, you can get more information uh, from News Direct this morning. You can also see on the upper left, it says, FEC approved 3.523 billion naira for aviation equipment in Lagos, Abuja, and Kano. Now, illegal refineries, uh, Joe, this is a major, major one because right now we're going through a serious crisis when it comes to fuel. Senate wants federal government to introduce pollution tax. Is that the only thing we're talking about right now? Mm -hmm. Well, you can head to page two for more from News Direct.